going on folks? Welcome back to Launch Our Channel. So today we are going to do a little bit of fertilization. But before we do, can you hear that wonderful sound behind me? Yes, those are the cicadas. We have been invaded officially here in Tennessee and they are deafening at times. Uh, for the most part, this isn't too bad, but like when you're up in the front of the house and the sound is funneling between the trees and all the houses, it literally sounds like a jet engine coming down the street. So uh, hopefully you guys can hear me over the mic. I mean, that's why I'm wearing the external mic today um, and have it on my good camera just so that we can try and get the sound. But uh, today we are going to do our second fertilization. And uh, yes, that's right, you didn't miss one. Um, I just didn't talk about it when I did it, and that's because when we use the Scott's halts for the pre-emergent, it actually has 30% nitrogen. I didn't mention that in the video, but it's a little bit different from the product that I normally use for pre-emergent that doesn't have any nitrogen. It has a little bit of potassium, but uh, we didn't we didn't mention it last time, and so I just thought I'd let you know that this time we are doing a second fertilization of the lawn, and we are going to be using the Scott's liquid. And the reason why I like this liquid fertilizer is because it's 29% nitrogen, it has no phosphorus, and it has 3% potassium. Now the potassium is great, for root growth, and so we wanna have a little bit of that. We wanna to continue to have that throughout the season. I don't need phosphorus in this lawn. I don't need phosphorus anywhere in Tennessee, and most people around the country don't. You need to do a soil sample for you to test out your own lawn and figure out what you need, but most places do not need phosphorus. There's plenty of it in the soil, but we do want nitrogen, and the reason why we want nitrogen is because nitrogen tends to get used up very quickly, and it leaves the soil very quickly, especially during the season, because pretty much everything that's alive that's in the soil is sucking all that stuff out and so we want to make sure that we are continuously adding nitrogen to the soil and so this is a good amount and the other thing about this product that I really like is that it's liquid now I have used granular fertilizer in the past in fact I will use it throughout the season probably uh, just because it is a good slow release product but me personally I don't love granular especially when there's a lot of nitrogen in there because who knows, maybe you're going down your lawn with your spreader and the thing tips over and you dump a bunch of it out and that just kills or burns. At best, it'll burn your lawn. At worst, it's gonna kill your lawn. Not that that's ever happened to me and it's only happened about four or five times. And so because of that, I don't really love it. The other reason why I like the liquid is because you are hooking it up to your hose end and so you're watering the lawn as you go. That's an immediate injection of nitrogen into your soil and you get the watering in aspect of it as well. So those are the two big things that I really like about liquid. It is a really good fast acting application of nitrogen so you can do this every month and that's about what I do. Uh, some people are going to tell you, hey listen, go, go check your soil and make sure that you need it. I, I'm not a big believer in that. I say go ahead and put the nitrogen in once a month, once every six weeks or so, because it needs it. It's going to use it. I mean, every every living organism inside, especially with my big trees, they're sucking out a bunch of the nitrogen and a bunch of the nutrients in general out of the soil. So you want to be continuously feeding the lawn with nutrients because the lawn and all of your shrubs and trees and plants are going to be using the nitrogen in the soil. So go ahead and put it out there. You're not going to hurt anything. Just be careful how you do it because you can burn your lawn if you're not careful about how you're applying it into your soil. So with that, today we are going to use this. I've got two bottles. Each one of these bottles covers about 2,000 square feet. I've got 4,500 on both the front and the back, and I'm going to be using one bottle for the front, one bottle for the back. Yeah, it doesn't equate to 4,500 square feet. I'm going to get over it. I'm just going to sit there and make sure that I have good coverage with each bottle, and then we should be fine. Uh, at 29%, I'm not worried about being a little bit short somewhere because it'll be fine. So we'll do one bottle in the front, one bottle in the back, so let's get to it.
All right, folks, so we're pretty much done. Uh, that was a pretty easy application. If I haven't mentioned it, today the weather is perfect here in Franklin. Uh, it is about 74 degrees. We had 44 degrees last night, and today is just perfect. A little bit of cloud cover. In fact, last night was the night that we had the Aurora Borealis, and so we got to see the Northern Lights here in Franklin. If you live anywhere, I guess north of us, or even I think I saw some folks that were in North Florida that actually were able to see it, then you got to see it. And if you uh, go out tonight, you should be able to see it as well. I think today we have a little bit more cloud cover, so it may be a little bit more difficult to see it, but uh, we're gonna try anyway. But also, by the time you see this video, it'll be after Mother's Day, but to all of you moms out there, happy Mother's Day. I hope you guys had a really blessed day. And uh, so anyway, with that application, we should be pretty good for the next month or so. And in about four to six weeks, we'll add some more nitrogen. The other thing that I'm gonna be doing is taking care of more fungus. And the reason why I'm doing that is because last year when my lawn was killed because of fungus, it was because I didn't take care to apply fungus control when it got really hot. So two years in a row, we have gotten into the hundreds in early June. Two years ago, I was on vacation when it happened and my lawn died. Last year it happened again, and that's when the fungus really kind of took over and killed everything. So for that reason, I have got a couple products that I have in my shed. They're not big box products. Like I said, I wanted to stick to big box as I did today, but for the purposes of fungus control, since I've already got the product, I'm not gonna go off and buy a bunch of new stuff because that would be wasteful. I've got things that can take care of uh, fungus here, so I'm gonna be using those. So we'll probably do that in the next video or maybe the video after that, depending on, on uh, what we've got going on. But uh, yeah, we wanna always stay on top of the fungus control this time of year because it is starting to get warmer. Even though today is very deceptive, the weather is perfect, it's dry. We had five or six days straight of rain this week. And if it had stayed warm, it would have been a mess. But uh, luckily it got, it got a little bit warmer and then it got dry and now it's nice and cool. So we'll take that cool weather. Uh, as I've told you in Nashville, if you don't like the weather, just wait around five minutes. It's gonna be perfect right after that. And that's usually the way it works. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give me a like. And if I've earned your subscription, don't forget to subscribe to the channel down below. And if you want to be notified of future videos, don't forget to hit that bell. And we will see you on the next one. Have a blessed week, everybody.